Back to WI 10 end zone. Well, Wallace Rose Hill beating up on South Lenore tonight, 68 to 6 to get back to 3 and 3 after starting 0 and 3. Look out for those dogs. The defending 2A state champions from East Duplin coming into this week on a 19 game winning streak dating back to week two of last season. Could they keep it rolling? The Panthers at home tonight against 3 and 2 Kinston looking to go for that big 2 0. Vikings quarterback Karan Ross connects with Tyreek Copper who runs to the other side of the field, finds his way all the way to the end zone for Kinston for the touchdown, but they were down early 14 to 6. East Duplin taking it easy on the next drive. Sean Davis pushes forward into the end zone. He's been there before and acts like it very nonchalant. Maybe that's because he knows he's going to find the two point as well. Panthers pulled ahead 22 to 6 and East Duplin does make it 20 straight wins. 66 to 12 the final tonight. Southwest Onslow playing up at North Lenore, also meeting in the East Central 2A ranks. The Stallions just hit the ground running. KJ Blue cannot be stopped as this long run sets up Southwest Onslow on the Hawks one yard line as he fights his way down there. And Jacob Evans on the very next play going to hit the pay dirt from a yard out. Southwest Onslow dominating 35 to 6 late in the third quarter. North Lenore playing until the final whistle. And Malik Fuller, we showed him off at East Carteret. He knows how to find the end zone too. Gets him on the board there. Southwest Onslow takes the victory in the end 48 to 12. A share of first place on the line in the Eastern Plains 2A as Green Central played at Southwest Edgecombe. This one saw a lot of big plays like this run from Kia Hopkins and Jakari Lovely would set up a first and goal here with another nice run. Next play quarterback Tyson Ayers takes it in for six. Green Central would follow that with a nice touchdown run of their own from Braden Perkins. He gets the edge and dives into the end zone for the touchdown. Green Central would get the ball back soon, but a pick from Deontes Townsend would set Southwest Edgecombe up in the red zone. Next quarter, it would be Kia Hopkins taking it all the way to the end zone as he finds the touchdown to make it 46-15 Southwest Edgecombe, and that is the final score tonight. West Craven, the other 1-0 team in the Eastern Plains, took on Washington on the road. First play of the game, West Craven with the ball, and D.J. Davis finds Reginald Lancaster open down the middle for a nice gainer and a first down. Several plays later, Shelby Cherry Jr. running it in. Look at the moves, scoring to make it 7-0. West Craven, we're still in the first when Washington gets the ball back, and their quarterback going downfield to Jerry Davenport. He's going in for the score. The home crowd loves that. 7-6 West Craven. Eagles pulled away, though, to a big win on the road, 49-12. Farmville Central having a solid season, but looking for its first conference win as they were at Aiden Grifton tonight, and the Jags took the opening kickoff back for a touchdown. And then after a stop, they take this one to the house as well. Alex Moy into the end zone, and it was 12-0 quickly. Another stop on defense, and MJ Williams takes the ensuing punt and he's got a reservation for six all the way back for the touchdown, making it look like one of those basketball runs the Jags go on. It was 18 to nothing in an instant. Still in the first, Landon Barnes. The pitch over to Moy. Takes it 63 yards for the touchdown. They scored the first 39 points in the game. Then the Chargers got 26 straight back, but Farmville pulled away in the end for a 60-26 victory on the road. And in 1A, North Duplin having a great season so far, playing at Beargrass Charter, a couple one-loss teams. Second quarter, the score already 41-0 North Duplin. Beargrass ball, Braden Taylor stepping back, rushed by North Duplin. They were all over him on that one, and it's a sack. Then third quarter, North Duplin with the ball, handed to Ethan Turnage. He blasts through the center, in for the score, 48-0. Rebels out in front, fourth quarter, running clock, North Duplin again. Carell Phillips takes in the score. That made it 54-0, and that's your final score tonight. The Rebels win 54-0 to get to 5-1. and one. Well, it's time now. Let's take a look at our plays of the week for week six. Let's go to the plays of the week. Wes Carteret showing off the air attack. Josh Bauman throwing it up. Josiah Jones, the hurdle, the house. This is just a filthy play to keep his balance and score. So we had to go slow-mo. Look at this play. Hurdle, keeps the balance with the leg on him. Patriots win at North Pitt. West Craven, Shelby Cherry Jr. We love the moves in the traffic. Getting to the house right there. Look at that cut. As that helped the Eagles get a big win at Washington tonight. And Landon Richards, now this is not a touchdown, but it's just an incredible catch. It didn't count, but that's okay. Look at the grab. One hand, 
feet in. That was holding on the play. I just love the grabs. So just shout out to the Rampants. He had a huge game, three touchdowns in the first half. So those are our plays of the week this week. We'll have more.